Hey guys, I just heard the weather the other day and the weatherman was talking about the fact that we are going to be in for a month long heat wave, um, higher than normal averages and it's it's rough. Today I'm sitting out here, I'm getting a breeze and it, it is not the usual cool breezes that we have up here where I live. Usually we always have cool breezes blowing through here and the wind is coming out of a different area I'm not sure let's see it's probably like coming out of the south I guess you could say so it's kind of it's kind of hot and muggy and usually it comes out down here and blows down into the river and comes up because a lot of ferns down there and everything and everything is dried out down there um, I was driving around the other day and I was looking at all the grass and everything and all the the trees and most of the fields were pretty dry. There was a little greenery, but not much. And it was fires, small fires breaking out all over the place. I'm not sure if they were man-made or whatever, probably man-made. Somebody threw a cigarette butt over the hill or whatever. But it, it, it was near a river and it started on the bottom and it was blowing up towards the top and it was heading towards town. And I was actually kind of surprised when I saw that. I was like, wow, things are starting to happen now, like fires. And we've we haven't had any rain in six or seven months, despite despite what some people say. I get a lot of people telling me that that's all propaganda, Steve. There's no drought. Let me tell you something. We haven't had any rain here in six or seven months up until this past week. And this week, we haven't had that much. We did have a good, a pretty good rainstorm, but it, I'm sure that just got sucked right up into the soil because it was so dry. And we're coming into the rainy season, and I'm hoping... I'm hoping to God that we start having some real rain because we need to fill up these um, these reservoirs and wa water, you know, these these ponds and 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 lakes and everything because they're a lot of them are drying up and they're drying up pretty pretty good. There's there's enough water for a while um, that we don't have to really conserve, but still, I'm sure the Philippines is used to that dry season because we always have a dry season, but we usually have a little bit of rain in between here and there. And this year here, we barely had any. If it did rain, it was just sprinkles. It was a dark cloud passing over and you'd get a few sprinkles. You wouldn't even get wet. You'd, you'd get like a couple sprinkles on your skin and that would be it. And you could hear some thunder and it rolled over and that was the end of that water. You know, and you were hoping you were hoping for that rain to come down and pour, pour on the ground and bring some relief to us. But anyway, this this past week and the week before also, because it's been so hot, we've been staying inside the AC and Every once in a while, I'll break out a Beck's beer, just an ice cold Beck's beer. Um, I got that over at SNR, by the way. If you guys are looking to get some some Beck's beer here in the Philippines, it is pretty hard to find. It is actually one of my favorite beers. It's one of the, I like that in Heineken. But if I had a choice between Beck's and Heineken, I would choose Beck's. Beck's is a really really tasty beer, I think. Anyway, for me, I, I really like the taste of it compared to Heineken. Um, and this. The other beers, I really don't drink that much. I'll drink a Corona if I have a lime or something like that, but that's about it. But anyway, I want to talk about this because a lot of people probably wonder, hey, what do you do during the hot season? Well, right down below here, we have a swimming hole. It's the town swimming hole in Tracy Martirez. And I see a lot of the kids passing by here because they walk down through our property because it's the, it's kind of like the route to go down there. And it's the best way to go down there to get, get into the water. And I'm not even sure if there's that much water down there. There is a hole down there that they blocked off to keep the stream, you know, to make like a pool down there. And I see tons and tons of kids going down there swimming all the time. Um, I wouldn't, I, I've been down there before. I don't think I'd really go swimming in that water. I don't think it's the cleanest water around because I'm not sure where it's coming from upstream. I think it comes from Indang and I'm, I'm sure people up there are washing clothes or they got their animals in there or what have you. And I've seen dead pigs in there before. And I don't think I'd want to be swimming in that water, to be honest with you. So that's that's just me. But in the Philippines, most people don't even care. But for me, what I've been doing lately, because of the heat, I've been sitting inside and, and I'm still working on my home on the inside. Um, the way I'm getting it the way I want it. I'm not done yet. Um, after I did some things in the house, I said, you know what? I still want to go with this a little bit further. And I'm trying to get the look in the house of like a nostalgic look. Um, almost like a, like a, kind of like a, a pub with all the old tin signs and stuff like that. But I also want to show off some, um, music pieces. Like I want to show off a, a, a couple of my guitars. Um, I also want to build up, build a case 
uh, for my harmonica collection. And I, I, I just got this beautiful harmonica collection. I was bidden on eBay for it. And, and you know, I, I love harmonicas and I, I was able to, to get a huge collection of them. I said, you know what, that's, that's, that's a collection. And, and I was bidding on some other ones and I, have, I haven't had any really good harmonicas since I was a kid. And I was bidding on some really decent harmonicas and I got them for like pennies on the dollar. It was so cheap because it was just so many. I think people look at it and says, well, I don't need that many harmonicas. What am I gonna do with all those harmonicas, you know? Um, so they don't bid on them. And I would probably be paying for 10 harmonicas, you'd probably t pay anywhere from from 10 to $100 for a good harmonica, you know? And I got 41 decent harmonicas, vintage harmonicas at that. And I and I am bidding on a few other ones too that that I'm trying to win so I can I can showcase this harmonica collection and I'm gonna continue trying to fill up that harmonica case with um, all kind I want to try to get like about a hundred of them and just showcase all the different Honer harmonicas and other harmonicas um, throughout the years and, and I'm trying to get the boxes with them too I thought that'd be kind of a a cool collection and it's not that expensive believe it or not to do a harmonica collection versus a guitar collection or, you know, or even, even with the, um, if you guys like guitars or if, if you, if you always wanted to learn the guitar, um, the Philippines is the place to do it. And I'm going to tell you something. A lot of people want to learn the six string. Well, a lot of people don't realize that there's also a three string and a, and a, and a four string guitar out there too. They're called cigar box guitars. And they do give free lessons online on how to play these things. And they, they are electric. <coughs> or you can get them non-electric. You can get the Cigar Box slide guitars. Um, they're kind of nice. Um, and they do give lessons online on how to play them on YouTube. And they're very, very simple to pick up. More so than a regular guitar. Where you're learning all those strings and all those chords. Um, I could just never pick up all that stuff. And that's why... I'm kind of more simplistic on music such as the harmonica and I love the sound of a good harmonica. Harmonica is a, a beautiful sound with a bluesy sound and, and, and they also have, you know, they even have harmonicas during um, concerts and stuff like that and, and symphonies. They, some, there's play, people that play the harmonica in symphonies. A lot of people don't realize that a harmonica is, is more popular than people think. They have kind of fallen by the wayside. For a while but now they're coming back because a lot of people are getting into like the old style blues um and there's a lot of women that are actually getting into playing the harmonica and a lot of men are starting to pick it back up again um there's just something nostalgic about playing the harmonica that you know you just can't put your finger on it just has that beautiful sound it reminds you of the trains the hobos and you know um the old blues players and 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 just it reminds you of the south for some reason for me it does anyway you know it has that 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 feel of the south because a, a lot of people down south love the harmonicas and and i'm i want to learn how to play better i used to play as a kid and i played pretty decent as a kid but then i just put it down and i never touched it again and um I think it's time to pick it up again and start learning the harmonica. I really, really want to learn how to do that. I think it's a good hobby for some expats out there because I know I know a lot of expats out there. When I told them that um, I'm I'm starting to pick up the harmonica and I'm starting to do a collection, a lot of people are are interested in saying, "Geez, maybe I had to get into that. I never thought of that. I'd love to learn the harmonica." And it's not that hard when you when you watch these these people playing them in these um, videos teaching you how to play. It's pretty easy. I went through like about four or five in the other day. And I was like, you know, I'd like to learn this tune or that tune. And, and, and it's pretty simple. It's not that hard at all. So if you guys are looking to pick up a great hobby, you know, a harmonica, uh, a three-string three cigar box. A cigar box guitar you can get as little as like $100. It might cost 70 or 80 bucks to ship it over here. Um, the best place to get them is from Italy. There's a guy on, on, on eBay, and they do ship here. Okay, you can get them on eBay and you just get a tuner and you tune it and they teach you how to tune it on online too, but it's good to get a tuner and you can you can play away. There's all kinds of songs you can play and the way they teach it, it's really simple. 
in fact, if you guys ever want to give me a call or something like that, you can email me at Stephen5975 at, at yahoo.com and you can, you can, um, email me and I'll, and I'll give you my phone number and I'll tell you the easiest way to learn because there is a couple of guys on there. What they do is they use numbers and they tell you which fret to play on that string and they show the five strings and they put the the numbers there which fret to play and, and and you just follow that and you go right down the line and i was like man that's simple that really simplifies the guitar down to bare basics and i was really like surprised by that so for you guys that want to learn guitar but you you think the six string or the 12 string is too much for you get down to the bare basics get a four string or a three string and it will really simplify things for you and also they'll teach you a little bit of slide guitar Slide guitar, you can play on a fretted instrument, but it's best to play the slide guitar on um, a non-fretted instrument, and it's 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 different. Slide is very a little bit harder to play than a fretted instrument. It's just slide guitar is a little bit more difficult. It's it's a lot more um, things you have to learn. You know, it's just it's it's the wobbles and the using moving your finger a little bit more and just making all these different sounds and stuff like that it's totally different but anyway guys i just want to talk about that today because during these hot summer days it's good to learn something good to you know i, I love to read listen i listen to books on tape um i i i think this i joined this thing called wiser and i i can they, they what they do is they briefly give you a book in like the about eight to eight to fifteen minutes and you get the whole synopsis of the book, the whole, it, it just briefs you what you need to know from that book. It gives you the Reader's Digest version. And I love listening to that. And I subscribe for a little while. And even if I, I figure I got my money's worth, even if I listen to five or 10 books, you know, and, and I actually enjoy listening, picking out the books on there. Some of them are good. Some of them are kind of boring, um, the way they read them and stuff like that, but you still learn stuff. I, 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 I enjoy it because I can sit there in an hour and I can go through like six books. That's pretty decent in an hour, being able to go through six books and just get all the stuff that you need out of the book and not read all the stuff that you don't need out of the book. So if you guys are interested in that, you can you can go on an app called Wiser. But um, if you guys are definitely interested in the harmonicas or you're interested in the, the three string guitars or four string cigar box guitars, the three, three string guitar boxes are really nice too, or the slide, slide guitars that are cigar box guitars go on to ebay and they, you can get a kit you can build your own um you can you can buy them already made you can buy like an ammo box um guitar it's made out of an ammo box so it gives you that more tinny sound and it, a lot of them have like a tin sound a lot of them have like the the, the a little bit of a, a vibration from the cigar box they're awesome guitars they're really really nice they're, most of them are are fairly well made by the people out there that are making them. They're, they're, they're excellent instruments to learn to play and to play. Now, there's kits out there that you can buy. I think they sell them on Lazada, um, guitar kits. So you can you can sand the frets down or you can file the frets down so you can um, you can you can you can you can um, get, get rid of the buzzing in some of them because every once in a while you get a guitar with buzzing or whatever. Anyway, guys, I just want to put that out there today so you guys get something to go on, you know, to do on a hot day or whatever when you're over here. Because it's going to, it's hot over here right now. But anyway, guys, God bless. Take care.